Got you. This so has been, this, this, this has been going on for over a year. Right. This right. should have been wrapped up. It should have been wrapped up. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. And that's where my confusion uh, came in at because I was going to say, when I spoke with the lawyer, she said everything was clear as far as it being a name. Um, but they yeah. said something about, I guess there's a brother, that some they have a brother that has to sign off. In uh, California, he don't okay. give a damn. He right. Said, he told me to handle it. Exactly, exactly. So, Kevin, been in uh, California since 85. Mm -hmm. Ain't never came back home. Didn't even go to his mother's funeral. Mm. None of that. He called me and told me, hey, you handle it. I said, all right. When everything get done, I, uh, I have some I tell him he got to cut you a check, mm -hmm. send you your uh, portion, and that'll be it. He don't care nothing about nothing, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could, you could send two dollars, and he wouldn't care. Exactly, exactly. And that's the I'm good with that. Um, so I guess if, if we can work through two things, because this is basically things that's holding us up, if we can work through figuring out this, you know, this attorney where. If she's still in contact with the attorney, um, if we can just work through her speaking with the attorney and telling her the, the uh, telling the attorney like, uh, hey, you, you don't even got to deal with this uh, uh, lawyer no more. Her her ticket on that lawyer, which uh, I didn't understand, that lawyer cost her eight thousand dollars, I believe it was. Right. It, it was eight. It, it was between eight and nine thousand dollars. Right. I didn't told her you threw that money away. Right. That's money that was threw away. Where in the world did you uh, get a lawyer? That's how old people's ears, man. Mm -hmm. They don't think about nothing except not getting fucked over. Mm -hmm. that, I'm dealing with the same thing with her sister. Right. Her sister, uh, are they going to give me my money? Yeah, mm -hmm. you get your money, but you ain't going to be able to get it that day. Right. They ain't going to sit you down at a table. You sign the paperwork like you're selling a car. Mm -hmm. And, um... And you get your money, and everybody walk away. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting ready to uh, tell them when I go get her this. Um, go um, take it to this doctor's appointment. Right. Exactly. I didn't told her. I didn't told her if you go, if you if you don't want to do that, as far as somebody just handing you a thousand dollars, rent it out. Mm -hmm. Don't sell it. Don't sell it. Clean it up and rent it. Right. That'll be money. That'll be money that you got coming in. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sell it, and you still have money coming in. Just rent it out. Find somebody that'll give you seven fifty, eight hundred, nine, whatever it is right. a month. Let them let them take care of their own utilities, and there you go. Mm -hmm. Leave it alone. No, I get you. I get you. But so I was just but, I'm looking uh, at the auditor talking, site. Talking to these old people. Uh -huh. Talking to these old people is like banging your head up against the wall. Oh man. Yeah, that's, I get it, and, and the thing is, you know, you want to make sure everybody understands stuff, but I, I, get, I understand what you mean as far as, you know, sometimes speaking to older people, it can be a challenge to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, Shit, it ain't a challenge, it's a headache. <laughs> they don't understand. Right. They, they don't understand nothing. Right, no, and I get so, you. Uh, the, the ticket with her dealing with this lawyer would still be building up, mm -hmm. but... I told, I sat there and I told that lawyer, damn, I forgot her name, Donna or Betty or something, I don't know. Right. Um, I told I told her, she no longer you, needs you. Everything that um, you was doing for her is done. Mm -hmm. she, done got the, um, she done got the checking account that she needed to uh, get. Mm -hmm. That's took care of it. In her name, she ain't got all that money. Right. Only thing that's left over is the house. Now, she told me, Go ahead and uh, find a realtor, or we'll go ahead and we'll start letting um, realtors check it out. Mm -hmm. I'm like, for what? Mm -hmm. That ain't doing nothing but uh, throwing away more money. Mm -hmm. She don't need no realtor. Right. What's she going to uh, pay a realtor for to get out and sell something that she already owns? Right. That's like getting somebody to sell. That's like parking your car in your front yard. Mm. And calling somebody to sell the car for you. Mm -hmm. Put the sign, put a sign in the front of the, uh, put a sign in the front yard or the wind, uh, windshield of the car, mm -hmm. and you sell it. Exactly, exactly. What she, she keep, she keep. Mm -hmm. She didn't ask me nothing about going out and get, uh, getting a lawyer. She done that all by herself. Mm -hmm. Cause I would have told her, I would have told her, hey, uh, leave. Uh, you don't need no lawyer. Mm -hmm. She got that lawyer. Looking at TV. <laughs> she, That's she, funny. she seen a commercial. 
she seen a commercial on TV, mm. and that's how she ended up with that lawyer. Mm. Wow, that's strange. Well, I was going to say so, real quick. That lawyer, that this is where I believe there could be some kind of conflict of interest or something because the that lawyer. When I made the offer, she suggested, like you said, a realtor. But I, like you said, you don't need a realtor to sell the property. You can, you know, sell the property no. by having me going in and buying it cash. So that being said, the only reason right now, as far as because I'm looking at the auditor site, I see that it right now is still in uh, the property is in this name. Um, but we need yeah. to, we have to have it in, uh, you know, his name, which is the administrator. So um, I believe that's the only reason we still need that lawyer. But it, but the lawyer can't tell she cannot sell the property to somebody else other than a realtor. So, you know, if it could work, if you, you know, if you guys maybe got on the phone with her and I can get on the phone as well, if that'll work. But you can just say, hey, look, we want to sell this property to D'Angelo for $70,000 and the contract, you know, will be sent over. If you guys can get on the phone and say that and I can get on the phone and speak with her and ask her what needs to be in the contract, then I believe we'll be able to at least all come to the common agreement. Because right now it seems like a real clear. You know, for her to suggest that she can send it over to a real estate agent, it kind of seems like she wants to get paid on the back end another way too, which is not, which is not right. Yeah. And I told that lawyer, I told the lawyer, and I told you, mm -hmm. the lawyer is there to eat. Mm -hmm. She don't do this work for nothing. I just got off work. Right. I wouldn't be doing the job that I got if I wasn't getting paid. Right. Exactly. The lawyer is in the lawyer is in the business to make money. Mm -hmm. If the lawyer 100%. can sell the car, if uh, the lawyer can sell the house for you, she just like a realtor. Mm -hmm. She getting paid. Exactly. You don't, you don't need. See the lawyer, the lawyer calls me. She mm -hmm. don't even call to me no more. Oh wow. She'll call me and tell me this, 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 mm -hmm. and I tell her, hey, she no longer needs you. Mm -hmm. But this right here is one of the things that tripped me out mm -hmm. about uh about this lawyer. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there. I asked her, "How much do you do she owe you right now?" Mm. She said, "Somewhere around eight thousand." Mm. I told her, "Could you go and find out the exact amount that she owed you so you can get to get it took care of?" Mm -hmm. She kept telling me about about about. Mm. If somebody if somebody knew owed me some money, if mm. you owed me some money. I would know down to the last penny right. how much you owed me. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be telling you. You owe me about. Right. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell you. You owe me about ten ten dollars. Right. I'd be able to tell you. You owe me ten dollars and twenty cents. Exactly. Exactly. That, that right there. That right there is one of the things that turned me off. That off with that lawyer. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing. The other thing that pissed me off about that lawyer. I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. I said, "How much is in the banking account?" Mm -hmm. That um, that she got to get put in her name. Mm -hmm. The lawyer told me, I don't know, somewhere around, I think she said fifteen thousand, ten thousand. Mm -hmm. When me and her went to the bank, the um, the account had over a uh, hundred and fifty thousand in it. Oh wow! You yeah. go, you gonna make a mistake, right? And tell me that um that it was only about 24000 or something like that mm. in there, and, and it's over 150. Mm. She tells me, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. <sighs> I've been dealing with a, a couple of other uh, clients. Oh, no. You don't forget that. Yeah. If you see, if you, uh, 100, over 100000 is a whole lot different mm. than 24000 A whole lot, yeah. It, it's, some, it, it's somewhere down the road, she was going to make some money. Mm-hmm. You you forget you forget things like that. Right. I told that lawyer. I told that lawyer, we no longer uh, need you. Mm -hmm. What's the ticket that she owed you? Mm -hmm. She ain't got back with me yet. Mm -hmm. How long ago was that? She she keep she keep telling us about about about, and I keep telling her about don't mean nothing. About could be eight thousand nine hundred, right. eight thousand ninety nine. Uh, Hendrick or whatever. Mm -hmm. You want to know exactly. Mm -hmm. You don't want to know more about. You want to know exactly how much she owed you. Yeah, no, I agree. And ah, uh, you know, I ain't gonna let her stick a piece of paper in state mm -hmm. and she signed it saying that she owed eight thousand eight hundred, 
when uh, she keeps thinking that it's a devout. Right, right. It's a devout. No. No, I feel you. Let this lady know exactly how much she owes everybody. Mm-hmm. Let her know exactly how much she getting on uh, on the back end. Mm-hmm. Let, and I'm I'm beginning to deal with her sister the exact same way. Okay. Her sister has got one leg amputated. Oh, she getting ready to get the other leg amputated. Damn. She keep asking me. Um, I said, how much do you want for this house? She told me 150000 I said, I ought to punch you in your head. <laughs> ain't, yeah. nobody in the, ain't nobody in the world going to give you eight. Uh, uh, however, much she, however much she said mm-hmm. was crazy. Mm-hmm. I told her somebody will cut costs in the condition that it is. And she's a hoarder, too. Okay. That house is packed full of shit. Oh, I man. told her somebody somebody going to come in here and offer you 60 70 for it, and mm-hmm. you get out. Mm-hmm. Right. See, you, you ain't you ain't gonna get no hundred thousand dollars for this house. Yeah. If you want to get from up under it, expect to get seventy, mm-hmm. eighty, or whatever you know an investor gonna give her. Mm-hmm. But though, if she if she try to get eight hundred thousand or whatever amount out of it, mm-hmm. she ain't gonna never get it. She might as well do the same things me doing, mm-hmm. clean it out, clean it out, and rent it. Right. Right. No, I get you. Yeah, man. man, yeah, it's a lot. Man. Um, I was gonna say real fast. So, yeah, I know you have to, you know, go ahead and meet up with uh, me right now. If you could just, you know, run it past me, how I'm not sure how she would feel or how you would feel. Um, but if you guys wanted to hop on a three way call just to get the lawyer, because the only thing in my from my experience of doing these probate properties, you would need the lawyer just to sign off on the file itself. Now, it's not the lawyer's place to tell who she can or cannot sell the property to. That's not their place. So if we could, you know, get on the phone and, you know, you say and you have seen there, like, hey, we want to sell this property to D'Angelo. How can we make this happen? Like, we finish, you know, because I heard saying that you guys owe about 8000 or about eighty five. That doesn't make sense. So um, it seems like she's waiting. Right. So it seems like she's waiting until it's time for her to be paid out from the standpoint of uh, when she has the buyer there, when the title company, because the title company is going to have to speak directly with the attorney to see how much you know she's owed before we close out the the property as well so once that happens it seems like then she'll be like okay i have to figure out exactly how much is owed but um you know if you guys want to do that i'm completely open to it i definitely i'm not trying to rush anybody because i i spoke with the attorney it was like two or three months ago uh that's why i decided to give you a call because you know i haven't heard back from him but you know i'm just i'm still here i'm still willing to purchase it so um for what, mm-hmm. for what you just told me, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell her right now. Okay. You're going to need a lawyer to go ahead and do the closing and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to sit down, talk to you uh, and everything and find out. We're going to get another lawyer. Mm-hmm. If the only thing the lawyer got to do, if that's the only work that a lawyer got to do is handle that, mm-hmm. hell, you can get anybody, any lawyer to do that. Right. Well, the thing is that I... The thing is that I don't like about this lawyer, mm-hmm. this lawyer has let this drag out too long. Right. No, I get you. It, it, <laughs> yeah. This, a lawyer, a lawyer is, you deal with a lawyer to take care of business. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 when I get a lawyer, I expect the lawyer to do whatever the lawyer got to do, mm-hmm. and I don't have to pay more and more and more every day. Mm-hmm. That lawyer is supposed to do what they supposed to do. The end. Come, mm-hmm. for, come sign this paperwork. I'm done. Right. But, yeah. The lawyer's supposed to do uh, what you tell them to do. They're not supposed to be telling you what you got to do. Like it's not supposed to work like that. I agree. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And she keep she keep telling me, well, Kevin. The, uh, the lawyer know what she doing once you talk to her. I don't want to talk to that lawyer no more. Because mm. that lawyer to me is a hustler. Mm. She out there to eat. Right, right. Uh, is, she out, is she out there to do somewhere down the road? Mm-hmm. I don't know where it is. No, and I that you. lady is going to get more than $8,000. Yeah. And she keep, tell, she keep tell, telling me in about, I already told her, mm. next time you call me, don't tell me about. Right. Tell me exactly how much it is that she owes you. Right. She, uh, I'm going to make sure that I call you and everything is going to get took care of. Mm. She, she ain't called me yet. Mm. So, yeah. I don't, I told her, I don't care if she ever get paid. Right. Right. If she, if she want to get, if she want to get paid, let her know how much she owes you. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, that I, I'm completely on your side with this, man. So if you want to go ahead and speak with me and speak with the attorney, um, you know, like I said, just let them know I'm here. Yeah, um, really, I'm I'm ready, willing, and able. So that's the main thing about finding a buyer, and that's the thing that you know confuses me about this attorney or lawyer. Um, the fact that she has a buyer that's ready, willing, and able. Uh, yeah, she still is holding up the process. Like you said, it's her holding up this process. So if we can uh, get some, you know, board, um, if you guys are all on the same page, then, you know, I'm, I'm here to do whatever needs to be done. Just let me know, okay? All right, I'm going to go get her right now, take okay. her to a doctor's appointment, take her out to lunch. There you go. I'm going to take her, uh, tuck her over there to the dooster. She mm. loves her, love her, his food. Hey, that's Sit what's down, up. Sit down, talk to her, and let her know, hey, mm. I'm tired of fucking with you and your sister. Mm. I got, yeah. I, I, I got my property I got to deal with. Right, right. So, How's that property yeah, going over there? I done decided to move back in it. Oh, okay, okay. That's uh, what's instead, up. Of, instead of renting it out mm -hmm. uh, or trying to sell it, Right. Um, I don't know if I had told you about the stuff that I do, art and stuff yeah, like sir. that. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, you told me. I just, yeah, I'm just going to keep the place okay. and um, start using it myself. Okay, that's what's up. Because, yeah. like I told her, like I told her, eventually, when, um, you know, I stopped storing everything that I got, I got so much stuff mm -hmm. that I got I needed somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason what I'm doing. I'm going to move all my stuff over there, and eventually, mm -hmm. I'll rent it out and sell it or whatever, right. but right. it ain't going to take no damn year exactly. to do it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and that's what, she, that's what she's doing. Take right. It, I mean, not. I hope nothing never happens. Mm -hmm. I love both these ladies, mm -hmm. but they gonna fuck around and die before everything is done. Right. No, I get you. Well, yeah. Them, both of them is gonna end up dead, and all this is still gonna be hanging in the air. Mm. And that's the worst. That's the worst case scenario. So yeah, we don't want yeah, that. I, yeah, I don't want that to happen. So, right. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go talk to her and see, yeah. see if I can talk her ass out of get uh, you know leaving me alone. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to try to explain to her word to word what you just told me. Okay, no doubt. And let her know as well, because she's still, uh, she's still living at the, right, at the property? Yeah. Okay, yeah, and yeah, let her know that we can, there. we can uh, also, you know, give her about a few days after closing, so that way she can go ahead and get her stuff and get her belongings out of the property as well. We can give her a few weeks, so. Um, and she don't got no belongings. The only thing okay. she needs is her clothes. Okay, perfect. And, and her clothes, her bed, and her TV. Gotcha. And we can take and care of everything her, else. And the living room furniture. Gotcha. That's all she needs. Okay. All, okay. That, all that other junk, she can just leave in yep. there. Yep, exactly, exactly. And, uh, and walk away from it. She, it ain't a bunch of moving and stuff she got to do. Okay. I done found her a place uh, to go. Mm -hmm. Up in Hamilton, a nice senior citizen home. Mm, okay. It's, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. But, um, it's time to make that know, transition. I don't know. That'll be good for her. So oh, it would be real good for it. Uh, this place, I'd move in there. <laughs> right. You got a balcony. You got a balcony. Oh, uh, yeah. She only got to go up two, two flights of steps. Okay. I mean, this place, this place is really nice. That's what's up. That's oh, what's about. I don't know if you ever seen uh, Bird Towers in Hamilton. No, I'm not familiar with it, but that's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called okay. Bird, uh, Bird Towers in Hamilton and Rock of Pleasant. Uh, Pleasant. Gotcha. Turns into pleasant. Right off of okay, I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah, yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever need, a, you ever need um, a senior citizen that got a place? Yeah, need a place. Yeah, check that place out. Okay, for sure, for sure. I got you. I mean, hey, I appreciate your time. Um, you know, in the meantime, you, you speak with her. Let me know if there's any way or anything that I can do, or if there's anything that needs to be clarified as far as you know any questions she may have. Um, and when it comes to speaking with that attorney, you know, the next time you do speak with her or if you guys decide to move with a different attorney, we can do that as well. But if you do speak with that specific attorney and she has any questions about the buyer or who's going to buy it, just uh, feel free to give me a call. You know, I always have my phone near me, so I'll be happy to explain to her in depth. How's that sound? Okay, well, I'm sure they can do that, but uh, mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, I'm dealing with that lawyer. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on with that. 100%, 100%. Sounds good, my guy. Okay. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You have, a, uh, have a good day, man. Have Likewise. Bye-bye. Whew. So I just talked to this guy for like 30 minutes. Or, yeah, 30 minutes. 
we talked for a second. That's my guy, though, good guy. He was the person who, uh, you know, he was the guy who initially brought that property to me. So it's just been going on for way, way too long. But just, you know, we'll see. Um, just looking to get a deal here. Looking to get a deal. That's it. As always, you know what to do. Keep y'all updated. Get stepping.